Day two of the Best Ranger competition, otherwise known as the Day Stakes on Todd Field, will see competitors using their technical soldier skills to complete tasks for time. Day one, the competitors are stretched out all over Fort Benning. Uh, same thing on day three. Day two allows us to bring all the Ranger events, the same tasks that uh, we've been doing in Afghanistan and Iraq really for the last 13 years and showcase those for all of our families and the Fort Benning community. A lot of the Ranger operations that happen around the world aren't widely televised, so the families many times don't know what their husbands do, so here they get to see it. The technical functions that rangers are required to master vary from climbing to medical procedures. But when they arrive on Todd Field for the day stakes, they start with grenades. This course is important because it really showcases the uh, tactical technical proficiency of the competitors. Right, so we still use grenades in the operational force. What, it, what we utilize is M68 frag grenade shells with a fuse in it. So really what it, what it showcases is their proficiency at actually engaging targets like they do on deployment. During the day stakes, competitors move from one event to the other in a rotation, so they hit each and every event. Moving on from the grenade throw, the Rangers rotate to one of the most challenging events they encounter both physically and mentally, the Ranger first responder. Medical knowledge has always been an important part um, in any combat operation. Uh, it's very important that everybody knows how to and what to do in a combat scenario and how to treat casualties to save lives. In addition to demolitions, which requires soldiers to build charges and disarm incendiary devices, the Rangers literally move up in the world as they ascend and descend from three separate towers, using techniques from fast roping to knotted ladder climbs and reaching heights upwards of 60 feet. Uh, there might not be a lot of tactical climbing, but there are situations that may arise where it's needed. So all over the military, we need people that are able to climb these type of rock for surfaces in order to get their units where they need to be able to execute the mission. That is team 48 starting the Tri Tower Challenge. Between 60 foot climbs, hauling a 170 pound dummy, mystery events and other challenges, making it clear that only one kind of two man buddy team will make it through. No NBC contamination. How copy over? Good copy. Ultimately, it's going to come down to the team with the most intestinal fortitude, the most heart, the team that will not quit, and a little bit of luck. Ready? One, two, three, four. Nicole Randall, Fort Benning TV.